I got all of these questions from the YouTuber user is an FBI agent and he's wondering how to hook up an NPN transistor. Does the negative go to the emitter? Well, the, the emitter, wherever the arrow points, if it's NPN or PNP, it always points toward the negative source. And then the other end is where the positive goes. So in an NPN situation, yes, the emitter is negative and the positive goes to the collector. Now this next statement, I can remember wondering about amplification myself, just what does it mean? Well, what it means is you have a power supply and depending on the purpose, it could be one and a half volts, three volts, six volts, nine volts, thousands of volts. Depends on the purpose of what you're trying to do. But all you're doing with these circuits, an amplifier circuit, is controlling the power supply, the large power supply, with a small signal. So that small signal is controlling the current or the voltage at an output point, but it cannot exceed your power supply's capability. These next two statements I have made some drawings to illustrate how the transistor is hooked into the circuit and also the LED. And probably the most important thing, just what does the base do in the transistor? Why do we have three leads? Here is a symbol for an NPN transistor. The base is B, the collector is C, and the emitter is E. Here I've added a battery and a load resistor in this small circuit. And let's say the battery is a 9 volt battery. And what we're going to do is we're going to see what the base does to this transistor between E and C. And what it does is it changes the resistance between E and C. So I'm going to change out the transistor symbol to a variable resistor symbol. We're also going to add a small signal to see what the base does with that signal. And we're going to keep track of the output at the collector of the transistor at C. When we apply a positive voltage to the base of an NPN transistor, the resistance between E and C decreases and at C that decreases the voltage. And as we continue that you can see that the signal at B increases but decreases at C. But also notice that a very small voltage at B is controlling a much larger voltage at C. And of course now when we go in the other direction the resistance starts to increase and as we continue and reach the most negative part of the signal we're at the most positive part of the output at C because we've got the most resistance between E and C now. And of course when we go back in the other direction we have ended up where we started. So the base with a very small signal is controlling the resistance in that transistor between the emitter and the collector. 
Here's a symbol for an LED. And it has an anode, which is positive, and a cathode that is negative in the circuit. And of course, it gives off light. Physically, the longer lead is the anode. That's the positive side of this diode. And it would fit into the circuit like this. And if we add a signal to this, if the signal is in the middle, again this is class A biasing, we get about half the light out of the diode, but if we go to the most positive part of the signal, we'll get the most light out of the diode. And of course, if we go to the most negative part of the signal, we'll get the least amount of light or no light out of the LED. I had a bunch of diodes and resistors and most of the time you would get the information you need to build the circuit uh, on the back of the uh, device or on the packaging of the device transistor or diode unfortunately there wasn't any on these parts so I went to the internet and took a look at a few examples of uh, LEDs and the resistors used. Typically it was like about 390, but it depends on the parts you use. These are all unmarked, so I started with a high amount. This is the circuit that I came up with. I started with 3,300 ohms, uh, as the load resistor and got it all the way down to 150 ohms. Probably could go lower, but that's good enough. So this is the in circuit that I came up with. Okay, this is what I came up with. Let me turn this up just a little bit. In the video demonstration, the LED gets brighter when the 100K variable resistor, when that pointer is moved all the way to the left. In other words, that 100K resistor has almost no ohms and we're only left with the 1K connected to the base that's the most positive it can be and that's when the LED is the brightest and of course when I move it in the other direction increasing the resistance the LED becomes dimmer and when the resistance is high enough the LED goes out altogether <laughs> 